It's a story all too common in city housing authority buildings. He was robbed and was shot. Um, unfortunately, a nice, a nice gentleman in, in our area, and even one of our staff persons also was was also shot. Ronald Topping, a resident of the John Adams houses, says the shooting in his building might not have happened had there been more surveillance cameras. On Tuesday, NYCHA officials went to the Adams houses to announce the installation of video security systems that they hope will make the complex safer. It's one of 31 NYCHA developments in Manhattan, Queens, and the Bronx to receive new or upgraded video security. These projects completed on time and on budget involve the installation of 988 new cameras and 152 camera upgrades and 219 buildings at a cost of $18 million. In the John Adams houses alone, more than 72 new cameras have been added to places like the elevators, stairwells, hallways, bringing the total number of cameras here to 95. Now since the cameras are here, I feel much more safe. Now, um, whatever might be taking place that is um, uh, not conducive, uh, that might be harmful, it'll be caught on camera. NYCHA's CEO says installing security cameras is one part of a 10-year plan by the mayor to provide public housing residents with safe, clean, and connected buildings. The program includes replacing traditional key locks at many entrances with electronic pass key systems. I have seen people sleeping in the hallways, you know, strangers that we don't even know. So it's, it's, it's good that the security is coming aboard and um, I hope it lasts. While the upgrades only affect about 57,000 NYCHA tenants in three boroughs, NYCHA says more complexes will be upgraded as state and city funding becomes available. In the Bronx, Aaron Clark, New York One.